I know people probably think I'm wanting to finish this quite quickly. I'm hoping it goes gritty grindy to the decision. Most people, like they going to assume that it's going to be a first round knockout. I think once he feels my power, there'll be a little bit more respect. He may not just march forward like he does on most of his opponents. I think with those small four, four ounce gloves, he hasn't felt someone who hits like I do. And um, I think that's going to be the changing factor in this. The advantages I have over Josh would be my experience in the game. In terms of the ring experience, I have more of it. Take him into his deep waters, he's not used to it. He's used to finishing them first, finishing them early. I'll just take him to where he's not comfortable and then see where he is and see how he reacts. I feel that the difference is that I'm training purely MMA. I feel like I've got a more well-rounded skill set. Um, I'm sure they're working on everything. I'm sure that they do their wrestling and do their jits and you know their, their defense and everything like that. But the fact that he um, also competes in boxing quite actively, I think that may play as a disadvantage as you know, I've got a bit more of a well-rounded skill set and you know, I'm implementing it on a daily basis. Training at NTG for me means everything. It's, um, it's saved my life, literally, in sense of making me feel complete as a person. All the demons that I may have had built up and frustrations. It sort of doesn't exist in this place. When I'm here, this is my happy place. Every day we grind and brick by brick, we're building a solid foundation and building a complete fighter. First of all, he's never been finished. So, you know, he's fought some elite level uh, pros of Australia. To, so to say that those guys haven't been able to do what I do to my most opponents, that gives me a little test right there and, and shows me that like, you know, this may not be an easy night in the office. And he's tough as hell, man, but that is what excites me. I wanna, I wanna be tested. I wanna be put into those deep waters and I really wanna show what levels that I've got and the skill set that I possess. And Dimps is gonna give me that. For one, I don't really take the step backwards. He likes to come forwards. So that alone is gonna make for an exciting matchup. It's gonna be a gritty, grindy fight, and it's gonna be one that everyone should tune in to watch. Dimps is a tough opponent. Um, we're gonna stand there and duke it out. I mean, we've made adjustments in the striking aspect, uh, having Brenton, having fought him already before. Um, little adjustments of what he could have done and what he would have done. I didn't give anything away and I take nothing away from Brenton. Uh, he done a good job, uh, but don't take my past and bring it into my present because every fight is a different fight. But this one's just gonna be a test of skill. It was the match that needed to be made. It's a fan favorite, it had to be done, so I'm excited for it now that it's been done. I think it's gonna be a fun fight for the crowd and I feel this will be a fight of the year contender. You know what we do, brother. Come meet me in the middle and let's duke it out. I'm excited for this. I know you are too, so uh, let's give the fans what they paid for.